sharing with you all of the seeds that we are planning on planting this year. I have some for our vegetable garden, some for our flower beds and cut flower garden. And I'm gonna be showing you what I got, where I got them from, how I store them, and then the book that I also picked up to help me with learning how to can and preserve. If these things are of interest to you, um, please hit the subscribe button down below. I'm going to be bringing you along with me. This is a journey. This is the first year that my husband and I have had a lot of land where we can plant a large garden. We've grown a small one in the past, but this is all new to me, the world of canning, um, preserving my food, that sort of thing. But I'm going to be bringing you along with me and showing you um, my failures and my successes and like I said, if that's of interest to you, hit the subscribe button down below, but I want to get into it. You may notice that it's dark behind me and you may hear some strange noises. I've got the dishwasher going, the oven going. I wasn't sure if I was going to film today, but I'm just really excited and I'm trying to be more consistent this year. So this is what I'm going to be sharing with you today. Maybe the audio will be okay and the lighting is not too strange but like I said I'm really excited to share this with you guys so let's get started I have all of my seeds laid out I'm gonna be taking you through the flowers first um, to get them out of the way and then we'll get into the vegetables and which ones I bought why I bought them and where I got them from so as far as flowers go, I picked these up from Am I Gardener. I really, really like Am I Gardener. They're affordable, they're nice heirloom seeds, and you typically get a good amount of seeds per pack. I picked up carnations. I think these are great cut flowers, and depending on what zone you're in, they can be pretty hardy and um, they'll come back every year, so they're perennials. And so I'm in zone 7B, so there, there should be perennials for me. I plan on planting some in my cut flower garden and some in just my regular garden beds. I got some pink ones and some white ones. Also, I just think this packaging is really pretty, but the back always has um, great information on it. And my gardener does a wonderful job of having everything you need to know on the back of them, whereas Baker Creek and some of the other places feel like doesn't have enough information but they do a great job I also got this apricot aster this is just the annual but it was too pretty to pass up and lavender I love lavender I love the smell of it I'm hoping that this goes well I've read that lavender can be a little tricky to grow we'll see how that goes the next one that I got was a zinnia this is from Baker Creek I really like their stuff as well so I thought that polar bear zinnia was really pretty and then I got this butterfly bush I believe the butterfly bush is a perennial not quite sure about the zinnias I don't think they are then some of the ones that I just picked up in store I picked up these dwarf zinnias I love flowers so I want as many as possible just more multicolor zinnias. Then I got these Cosmos. I thought these were really pretty. Um, I have this four o'clock pack from last year. I have four clocks already in my yard just from whoever owned this house previously. And these smell wonderful. If you want something that smells heavenly, these are the ones to get. I'm gonna go ahead and plant them. They're beautiful. They stay in bloom for such a long time and they're just they're just wonderful all around. But I picked these up at Walmart, I believe. So maybe check your local stores, your local Walmart. If not, you can order them online. So and then the last few that I have were from Kristen Made. Um, you can see they got wet and so I'm hoping that they work. They may not. Kristen Johns owns Kristen Made. I really enjoy her content and so I picked these up from her. I grew a pack last year and I'm planning on just planting these and seeing how they do. They are filled by Bentley Seed Co which is also an heirloom seed company 
so I haven't had any issues growing them last year so maybe I want this year I have some poppies a sunflower pack and then a pack of wildflower mix also the packaging on this is really pretty too moving on to the veggies and the herbs I picked some of this up from Baker Creek I have chamomile I plan on making um, a couple of different things with this. I know you can put it in tea, you can put it in balms and stuff like that. I thought that would be really neat to grow and try. I also picked up these beans. It's a bush bean, so I won't have to worry about staking anything. I heard really great reviews about the berries, crazy cherry tomatoes, um, acre homestead i believe is the one who introduced me to these and so i'm gonna try growing them this year and then i ordered a mini bell pepper mix we don't eat a ton of bell peppers but we do eat them occasionally and so i thought minis would be the perfect size for my, just my husband and i if you know we had a larger family we would probably get the bigger version but i thought that it was pretty neat they offered the mini size and then they sent us a free lettuce so that's what i got from baker creek and then i picked these up in the store i just got another chamomile and this rosemary these were the cheapest that i could find um a dollar 89 and i think for my emma gardener i paid two to three dollars mostly two i believe and they were so they were the second least expensive and then um, out of all of mine Baker Creek was the most expensive but they were not you know anything crazy they were still super affordable so for Emma Gardner I picked up some cilantro I plan on dehydrating it and saving it I picked up some cucumbers these are pickling sized cucumbers so I'm gonna try my hand at that just some really pretty ugly lettuce as well as regular iceberg lettuce. We like salads around here so I thought that would be great for that. Sweet corn. I have some peaches and cream corn already in my storage containers which we'll get to you in a minute but love sweet corn. Hoping that as well. Cabbage. Lemon basil. I've grown regular basil before but Acre Homestead also recommended trying lemon basil if you enjoy basil so plan on doing that then we have the boxcar willy tomatoes i heard you get a lot of bang for your buck with these they grow in clusters and i figured they would be great for canning i want to do some salsas and just some diced tomatoes and stuff so i thought those would be great for that and for a cut tomato i got these really pretty beef steaks then crookneck squash is my favorite. Fried squash is the best thing ever, <laughs> in my opinion. So, really excited about those as well. I got some sweet banana peppers. Onions. I've never grown onions. I'm not honestly the biggest fan of onions, but I do like them for their flavor and things when they're cooked. And I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> We'll see. And then last but not least, okra. Pickled okra is another one of my favorites. So, got that. And then the two I had left over from Kristen made with some cucumbers and just some regular cucumbers and then some carrots. I wanted to show you guys how I store my seeds because up until this point, I haven't had a system for it until um, Acre Homestead and a couple other people that I watched that garden recommended this. I got this from Joanne. They had a huge container discount not too long ago and so I think I only paid around $20 for it. But it is this container obviously and they come in different colors and stuff but you just open it up and I labeled all of these myself. I'll link my label maker down below or it'll be linked in the blog post that I have down below in the description box. But they have these smaller containers on the inside of them that snap close. And so 
I can put my carrots in here. And then I went ahead and labeled them, but whatever I put in here, I can label. And that way, when you go to garden, you can pull out exactly what you need, or you can store them in here and they're waterproof. So I just thought that was such a great idea. It's a good way to know exactly what you have and what you need or what you want to buy for the year. And I plan on maybe doing one completely with just my veggies and then instead of having I still have quite a few spots but instead of having um, just one container that says flowers on it I may do I may buy another container and do one specifically for flowers because I could have annuals on one side perennials on another or whatever it may be but I just thought this was such an awesome way to store seeds and then last but not least, I want to show you the book that I picked up. It is the complete book of home preserving. I'm really blessed that my mom cans. She has been canning for a year or two, I guess. And I have already learned so much from her and just from watching her. But we have our own home now and I really want to learn so that I can do it myself and not, you know, rely on her canning and giving me cans of the food that they grew in their garden. So my husband and I are planning on growing our own, canning our own, and hopefully canning enough that it will last us through next winter. But this is such a wonderful book. It has so much information and most everybody that I watch or follow who can says this is the book to get. I got it off of Amazon. I actually bought a used copy because this was only $2 more for the hardback that was used than the paperback that was new and it's in great condition. There's a little bit of damage on the spine but it's gonna get used so eventually it'll get worn in anyways. So really just tickled with that and about what's to come. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that haul of seeds and seeing what the plans are for this year. I have such big dreams and plans. Our land is primarily untouched. There was a lady who, I think her and her husband built this house and she enjoyed gardening. So she planted flowers and, you know, and just took care of her garden beds and her vegetable garden. And they sold the house to a lady who just didn't garden, didn't take the time. So the land's grown up, the garden beds are grown up, and it's going to be a lot of work. But like I said, I have big dreams, big plans, and I hope you stick around to see them. Like I said, if you want to see more of this kind of content, hit the subscribe button down below. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on